Welcome to A Guide to Every Deck in Modern. Today we're looking at Belcher. Wait, are we sure this is the right deck list? Belcher, named after the titular card Goblin Char Belcher, is a combo deck that seeks to cast and activate the game-winning artifact as fast as possible. But you probably knew that already. What you might not have known is the deck can be built as a blue-white variant rather than the normal red-green version. Char Belcher mills you until you hit a land and deals that much damage to the opponent. The deck makes use of modal double-faced lands, which have a front side that technically don't count as lands, to mill your entire deck and deal that much damage. But Char Belcher costs 4 to cast and 3 to activate, a total of 7 mana if you want to do it in one turn without giving your opponent a window to destroy it. To that end, you can make use of artifact ramp like Lotus Bloom and Pented Prism. Blue White Belcher sacrifices the speed of red rituals and deck stacking of Recross the Paths for blue counterspells and card filtering. It's usually not as fast, likely unable to win before turn 4, but it's more resilient, better able to protect its combo and interact with the opponent. Teferi Time Raveler in particular is a boon to the deck. Some of the modal double-faced lands also have useful spell modes such as Drawry Disruption and Salundi Vision. Lacking access to red and thus Pyromancer Ascension, the backup win condition is Thassa's Oracle, enabled by exiling most or all of your deck with selective memory since all your cards count as non-lands. Memory piles should be made up of Oracle, of course, and Teferi to protect it if needed. Sideboarding and how to beat it Belcher works best against decks ill-prepared to stop it, especially combo decks slower than itself, ramp decks, and decks with creature removal. Because Belcher plays no creatures, besides Oracle, it isn't susceptible to any removal that targets creatures, leaving many opponents with dead cards. Belcher struggles against cards that can interact with it, especially things like Counterspell and Thoughtseize. It's also weak to hate cards like Stony Silence, the blue-white version especially since it relies on mono rocks. As a Belcher player, you must be aware of and plan for hate cards out of various decks. For example, March of Otherworldly Light is quite poor against blue-white control, but you need it to combat Stony Silence. The one sideboard island is to account for Beseju. Tips and Tricks Unlike the red-green version, which can't cast Amiria's call outside of combo loops, Blue-White Belcher can, which is another option for winning long games, especially by casting it on the opponent's end step with Teferi. Teferi also lets you cast Selective Memory and other spells on your opponent's end step. Disrupting Shul can protect the combo on your own turn, unlike Force and Negation. Be mindful of the mana value of your cards and what answers your opponent could have. Once you use Selective Memory, you can no longer combo with Belcher, but you can always follow up Belcher with Memory. It's okay to expend counter spells on an opponent's threat if it would accelerate their game plan before you can win. If you're relying on artifacts to ramp you, be aware of ways your opponent can disrupt that, commonly with Prismatic Ending. Did you know Thassa's Oracle does things besides win the game? Since you have two of them, you can use one as a blocker or to filter cards. You can also pick Oracle back up with Teferi. Keep in mind how many and in what order you're placing cards with selective memory if your opponent has Ragavan or similar effects. Char Belcher can target anything, not just players, which is relevant if you can't target the opponent, for example if they control Leyline of Sanctity. It also stacks your deck the same way Recross the Paths does. Many of the modal double-faced lands aren't just for show and have relevant abilities. For example, Skyclave Cleric can block. Juari Disruption is an overcosted monotithe and can potentially snag your opponent's spells. Salundi so Vision digs for other spells, notably Selective Memory. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Blue-White Belcher. I want to thank my fellow players in the Magic community for whom sharing their experiences helps make these guides possible. You can find additional resources, such as an up-to-date deck list, in the description. If you think I left out anything important or got something wrong, please leave your thoughts in the comments, and stay tuned to see what deck we look at next time.